Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the Lily Pilly Stitches uh, studio vlogs. My name is Lisa and I'm coming to you from Brisbane. It's a warm summer's day here. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, <laughs> not sure what day. Let me have a look in my diary. Today it is the 10th, uh, 11th of February. 2023 and as you can see it's very sunny outside it's about 32 degrees out there today and we're expecting about 36 degrees um, Celsius tomorrow so yay <laughs> um, I'm hoping you're having a good weekend and um, this will probably be coming to you on Monday as usual um, so yay for me sticking to the schedule <laughs> Uh, so if you're new to this uh, channel, uh, I'm a cross-stitcher, I knit, I am learning to make lace, uh, which I need to do some practice on, uh, I sew, I'm learning quilting and embroidery and slow stitching and all sorts of things. I love all the crafts, so um, you'll get a little bit of everything. I also design cross-stitch patterns, which you can find my um, Etsy shop is Lily Pilly Stitches, um, and you'll also find my Facebook page has some free charts um, if you're interested, so head on over to Lily Pilly Stitches on Facebook as well. And um, on Instagram is Lily Pilly Stitches, and my personal account is Lisa Love Stitching on Etsy on Instagram. <laughs> so you can find all my details below, um, including how to contact me and get ready just for a nice little update on what I've been doing. So I can move my arm now. <laughs> I do have it in a sling. If you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you would have seen that I had a fall. I decided to step on the vacuum cleaner stick and half do the splits and land on the floor. And I overextended my shoulder and they thought I dislocated my AC joint, but I sprained it. I never break anything, touch wood. <laughs> Um, so I must be made of elastic bands, but I tell you what, it's really, really sore. And even though I can move my arm, it's still very, very sore. And um, I can't sleep on that side. So I'm still sort of sitting up to sleep at night, which is very uncomfortable, I have to say. Because I do prefer to sleep on my side. Um, yeah, so anyway, so that's the silliness that I got up to in the last fortnight. And that meant that there was about five days where I did nothing. <laughs> because I couldn't move my arm and had to stay in a sling. So, um, yeah, but I've got um, a finished, a new start and finished swatch for knitting. I have a finished object, which I'll have to share a photo of because I've gifted it. I think, what did I show you last time? I might have shown you last time. I think I did. So that's okay. But I am working on um, another project. So I've got another new start knitting-wise. Two new cross-stitch starts, which I'd love to share with you. And um, how I'm going on my current whips. Um, so let's get into it. I'll start with the cross-stitch this week. Um, so I've... As you know, if you've been watching, I've decided to make my regular stitch is uh, European Bistro by Dimensions Gold Collection, this one. And I've been working in this section here near the little bottle, the little wine bottle. And this is where I'm up to so far. Not a huge amount of progress, but it's different from what you saw last time. So I've just worked down here. So this is a little bit of the wine bottle. And this is the yellow tablecloth um, at the cafe. So, and I think I might have added a few more stitches here in the shading. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get down to the table. The wine bottle doesn't really look like anything at the moment, but it is, trust me, a wine bottle with a late yellowish label on it. And then here is the, so 
that's the little green bit you saw there and then the yellow for the tablecloth so I'm just working on that bit so that's been fun so that's that one I need to get some snack bags to put the spare thread in because once you pull it out you can't put it back in on the way the DMC has like a little thread card which I don't really like Plus all the threads get all messy and tangled. I don't know. I prefer it in little bags. I normally put them in little snack bags like this and that way I can write on the front what the code is and um, it's all contained and not getting messy. So that's my whip. And now I have two new starts. So whip go, whip go, whip go, whip go called out... 7 and 11 I think it was or something like that I don't think I noted it down but if you follow Whipgo they pick two on the 25th of every month two numbers and then whatever falls on that day so I had two new starts on my Whipgo so um, I decided to start I had to go with what I had available like fabric and thread um, so the first new start is Spring Fling by Brenda Gervais, which I, you know, is easy to kit up because I already had the fabric and um, most of it's white because it's just a giant bunny. So I was able to um, kit this up easily because I just needed some white DMC. So this is the bunny and I thought being that Easter's coming, that's something fun to work on. So I've just started over here at the beginnings of his ear, like just the top of his head, beginning of the ear. Um, and I'm just using white DMC. I think, do I have it here? I think I'm using Blanc. So just using Blanc DMC. And this is... my very small start on some fabric which was initially practice fabric dyed on by Brendan of Fox and Rabbit Designs and I bought that when I was at my Mirabilia retreat in 2020 I think it was and this is I think 32 count linen I'll just see if I can get that to come into focus for you there we go. So that's all I'm started. Actually, yeah, two threads over two. So that's, I think, 32 count linen. So this is a beautiful pink fabric dyed by Brendan. It's a little bit darker um, in reality. That's a bit more like it. It's a really pretty pink, which I thought would be perfect for this pattern. So yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting started on that and I am going to just do stash colours, whatever I find if I can. Um, so yeah, I'll just grab, I've got some pinks and greens in there which is all I need. Um, so that'll just come literally straight out of my stash, what I've got available because, you know, you've got to work with what you got. It's expensive to kit things up. Now this one I had partially, I had the threads, but then I needed to order some more threads DMC which I did um, because I didn't want to limit where I could stitch um, yeah so I started lavender and lace sweet dreams uh, this is a really beautiful cross stitch I love the dress and the patterning on the dress and I sort of think of this as my mum had sort of coppery brown hair well it was it looked brown but it was copper red and now she's a bit more grey <laughs> and I thought of that as being me as a baby so I'm doing that one and I'm using linen lemon butter that I stole from uh, another project that I decided not to go ahead with which I unpicked now I've got to work out which bits the oh yeah so this is going to be really hard for you to see this new start because the colours are very close to the, it's the um, 
the part I started on, because that's what I had available at the time, is this bit here of the baby's christening gown. I think of it like a christening gown um, or blanket or whatever it's got going on here. So this is like this champagne colour coming down here. So this is what I have done so far on this beautiful fabric that I got from Jay's Cross Stitch. And as you can see, it's very hard to see. It's 40, 40 count, one over two threads. That's better. So that's what I've done so far. Really enjoying that one. Although it is sending me a bit cross-eyed because the colours are so close together. But um, in doing this one, um, I reckon I'm sort of getting rid of the hardest part first. And then when I get up to the other stuff, it's a bit, bit nicer, a bit more potato chippy to do. So I'm actually looking forward to getting to this pattern on the skirt. I reckon that'll be really fun to do. Um, so that's my second new start. I'm just going to put this air conditioner on because it is hot. So sorry about the noise. So that's my what I've been working on this fortnight. Um, I have another lavender and lace that I am in the process of kitting up in case another one comes up and that's um is it? I bought some fabric when I put an order in with daisy chain cross stitch and I don't know if it they've dyed it but it was um a 50 by 55 centimeter square like a fat quarter approximately a fat quarter of um even weave and it's called turbulent and it's 32 count so this is the fabric which is a really nice warm sort of mm, coffee color soft coffee milky color um, so that's going to be and it's got really nice mottling in it so that's going to be lovely um, so these are the two I'm kidding up so I think this this fabric from daisy chain cross stitch I think I might be, um, I think I kit this up for this one, which is Lavender and Lace Angel of Autumn. And I've got one DMC thread so far. And I need to order some more DMC for this one. But this is what this one looks like. So I think... On this warm fabric it will actually look really nice with the autumnal colors so that's that one that I'm kitting up currently and the other one that I've partially kitted up like I've ordered some when I put my order in for the DMC I also ordered some DMC for this other one not the whole lot but a few um, is for lavender and lace the quilt maker this is another one I want to do. So they're in the kit up stage, ready to go. So my next non, oh, I'll show you. This month's page isn't very exciting from my journal, my cross stitch crafting journal. But I did put some nice washi tape that I had, some pink polka dot and some florals. And I had these stickers. My mum gave me these stickers, the big flowers. And I got these ones at Kmart in a little booklet. Um, so I've put those on there. And then, yeah, as you can see, not much happened here. Um, because my arm was sore. So, yeah. But... I'm loving having this to keep track of everything, which it's a free download off my Facebook page if you're interested. Right. What was I going to say? Oh, knitting. So um, I've been come across a new um, knitting podcaster called the Alvanac Knitter, which means the Scottish Knitter. 
um, it's Gaelic for Scottish is Albanac. Um, so the Albanac knitter is Andrew and he's in Scotland. He's a Baptist minister and he also works at the Sanex Christian Centre on the Isle of Arran in Scotland and um, he's knitting some most amazing colour work hats um, and things like that and kids cardigans and jumpers and things like that so you should definitely check him out I'll put a link below um, but he mentioned that he was going to be joining a Lent knit along hosted by Victoria Methodist Bristol knit alongs page on Facebook um, so if you want to check that out I'll put the link below um, the first clue um, drops on Monday the 20th, so there's still plenty of time to join in. Um, and people from all over the world since Andrew shared it have been joining in, so um, definitely request to join that page. Um, it's a Lent scarf that we'll be knitting, and you'll get a clue, I think, each week over Lent. And um, this is the swatch that I've knitted. It's done in DK weight yarn. So I had some um, Bendigo Woolen Mills um, red yarn. It's actually a much darker red than it's showing up here. And this is the swatch. So uh, I'll put that. There you go. You can see that better. So it's like a field. With these really cool wrap stitches which I hadn't done before and then this decorative tree trunk and the tree like the ancient tree with the roots and um, I think it's really beautiful so I'm really going to enjoy knitting this up but I was thinking I'm not sure if I want to do it in this wool because it's pure wool and it doesn't get that cold up here so I'm not sure I want a really woolly scarf, especially around my neck. Um, with I like wool, but not right on my neck. So I have this yarn, which I thought might go better with Lent, being the colours scheme. And my mum got me this yarn. Let me just pause and I'll see if I've got the tag. Right, I'm back. <laughs> Although for you that was like one second. So my mum bought me a few years ago from, I think, Morrison Sons in Sydney, um, some Manos Lace, Baby Alpaca Silk Cashmere. Perfect for going around your neck. And it was made by Vanessa. And I can't read where it was, the location. And it's called L7403 Razor, R-A-I-S-A, -A, and it's kettle dyed. And it's this beautiful, sorry, it's coming out of its skein, beautiful muted pink, like dusky pink, um, lavender, and a darker pink in it. And it's like butter. It's silk and cashmere blend with baby alpaca. <gasps> The drape is going to be divine. So I had these two millimeter needles which I bought and I went, oh, I made a mistake buying them recently. Um, when am I going to use those? And I thought, oh, I could do this scarf if I make the bigger one. So it comes in three sizes apparently. So the swatch is for the smaller size, but when the pattern comes out there'll be three options to do so you could either make it like a wider stole type wrap or a skinnier scarf but because i'm doing it with lace um on two millimeter higher hires they're those rainbow wooden ones there we go two millimeters um i've already cast on because it had their information with the amount of cast on stitches for the medium um, size scarf. So I thought being lace weight, it might need to be medium to get enough of a width. Otherwise, 
um, even when you block it it's just gonna like hang around your neck like a string so I want it to be a bit wider so you can enjoy seeing the pattern and I can just you know wrap it around so I've cast on the stitches for the medium size one but now I have to patiently wait till the first clue comes out on Monday the 20th which will come out by email so if you register on the Facebook page like if you join the Facebook page you have to wait for them to approve you um, once you join there's a posting there with the um, swatch pattern and in that swatch pattern is an email for a lady named Helen and if you email her she will um, put you on the list of emails to send out when each clue comes out and yeah so I've cast on for that so now I have to patiently wait so that I can do this scarf and I think because this one I barely use like I'm talking like two grams or one gram I've already used of this in testing out other projects so I've virtually got two skeins of this and there's um, 439 yards or 400 meters per skein um, the 50 gram skein so that makes you know 800 meters of yarn so that should be plenty for the scarf I don't think I'll you know might not even need the second skein much who knows but I'm just winging it because the patterns for DK and I'm gonna do it on lace weight so that just is a reminder that if you want to join something um, unless it's a garment that you need to make sure it's going to fit you so you need to you know get gauge and stuff um, something like this that's a scarf you can just wing it and use whatever yarn, yarn you want so in the past I've made um, lace crochet shawls and I use cobweb thread right thinner than this one um, like one ply and uh, it still worked out the pattern still worked out for the shawl and I got a beautiful stunning lace shawl that looked amazing um, but I was using like instead of four ply yarn I was using one ply yarn and I just used a hook that was appropriate for the yarn you know I actually ended up using a four millimeter hook for those with the cobweb because it made the same size shawl but it made the lace work with it better so um, as long as the lace shows off or the pattern shows off nice if it's not needing to be fitted with a gauge restriction you can use whatever yarn and needles you like until you get the fabric that suits what you want so definitely think about that when you want to do something if you go oh I can't afford to buy the yarn I've only got this yarn well give it a go yeah so anyway so that's what I'm going to do is try that out with this lace obviously it might take me a bit longer because it's really thin um, but I think with each one week clue I think that's still doable um, so that's my new start and technically a finish because it's a swatch which I'm going to use I think as a mug rug um, yeah because it's insulated because it's wool pure wool so that's what I'm going to do I think so that's my um, swatch and I really enjoyed doing like a picture um, I've never knitted a picture before like in a motif I've done lace and everything before but I've never done one that was like an actual picture of something <laughs> so I think of this as like the tree of life and uh, at the end of this swatch sheet with the instructions on what to do it has a devotional in relation to leading up to Lent um, so where's the rest of it? it has like a closing prayer loving God be with us as we enter this season of Lent as the solid trunk of an ancient tree gives support to all it holds give us strength to do your will 
as branches envelop and protect the wildlife within, may all may your all encompassing love surround us and give comfort. As leaves at the end of those branches reach out, may we reach out and share your love with others. And as roots dig into the earth beneath providing a solid foundation, may our faith ever deepen us as we listen to your word and gain a closer relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. So that's really nice. So at the end of each clue, there'll be a, a little prayer or devotional. So yeah, so that's that one. That's that one going to be hopefully started next Monday. My hat is next. So as you know, I've been knitting the Sweet Felicia hat for my colleagues in my team for Christmas. Um, and this one is on the Coop Knits Socks Year DK. And it's 75% Fine superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it's um, each skein is 50 grams and 122 yards or 112 meters. And this one is in the colorway Tartarus. And this is what I've done so far of the sweet Felicia hat. So it's a cable hat by Jodie Brown of the Grocery Girls. So if you look up on Ravelry, I'll put a link below, but if you look up on Ravelry, um, Jodie Brown has the pattern. And you can't really see, the light's a bit bad in here actually. But that's the cables, nice and squishy. Let's see if I can pull that out a bit, that's better. Yeah, so really nice cables, very potato chippy. So this is where I got up to before I injured my arm. So I've done... The two repeats of the cable pattern so I have another three to go and then the hat's done so it's a really nice squishy yarn um, definitely recommend it it's got a lovely drape to it and the guys really love their hats that I handed out last week um, so they'll be wearing those so that's nice and yeah, so this is in the bag I made recently with my Flamingo fabric. I don't think I've got much of any of this left, if anything. So, and then this cute little pink lining from Spotlight. So yeah, so that's my knitted work in progress. Right, now I have been making... Um, The 1000 hearts to give out to people who need a bit of hope um, so I have been making my little jar of hearts here I have more that I left somewhere else and someone's going to bring them to me because I've dropped them but these are some of what I have made so these are little felt hearts and I bought these on Etsy from Heartfelt Humanity who's based in um, Armadale in New South Wales um, but there's lots of people selling on Etsy the little felt um, heart die cuts so I bought all these colors aren't they pretty so I've got those ones to do and these are some of what I've been doing I've had these little buttons so I've been adding those on and just freestyling my embroidery. Some hearts are all the same color and some are combinations. So this one's got hope with some little butterfly beads. Most of these just have love on. So that one's got love. This one, sorry, it's back to front. I know I'll, I'll get around to putting it around the other way one of these days. And that one and then there's two others the same with the beads on so I'm getting those done I don't know who I'm going to give them out to yet I've got to find someone who needs them <laughs> but anyway I've been happy doing those and I just had these little buttons 
that I bought ages ago for a knitting project and didn't use it because they were not the right size and they're um, hemline size 16 10 millimeter buttons from spotlight baby buttons so yeah so that's um, some of the sewing that I've been doing I feel like there's something else yeah so I think that's pretty much all of my crafty endeavors for the past fortnight which isn't too shabby considering half the time I was out of action um, I wanted to show you something that came in the mail from my mum uh, as an acquisition and there's some really cute projects in here that I want to make including like a sewing um, thing which is on the front cover here so I really want to make this this looks really cute like a little sewing notions travel thing to put over your chair or whatever um, so this is Zaka style um, 24 projects stitched with ease to give, use and enjoy and it's compi compiled by Rashida Coleman Hale. I'll see if I can find a link for it on Book Depository or something like that or Amazon. But yeah, it's a really nice um, book. There's lots of projects in there to make. And I'll just give you a little... Oh, let's try and show. So... It's like a quilted bag, this cute little house purse, this is the one I want to make the sewing kit. If you're into journaling or artwork there's like a little pencil, travel pencil case. Um, There's even a quilt, quilt pattern. There's a couple of bags, and then there's like a journal case. Um, this cute Tweety Notions pouch that is really cute. Using EPP, um, little hand warmers. Um, cute little elephant bookmarks. I thought they were little girls going wee. <laughs> then I realised they were elephant. Um, even how to make patchwork ribbon. So that's something different for using on gifts. See that one they've done beautifully. So that's something. To use up all your scraps that you've got floating around. Um, yeah, so there's lots of really nice projects in this book. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm not sure how much it costs, but I'll see if I can find a link for one online for you in case you're interested. But that, my friends, is all that I have worked on in the past and acquired in the past... Um, fortnight so I'll leave you with that. Uh, Wayne and I are hoping to get to Stanthorpe next weekend for another little getaway um, and I'm hoping to visit the Busy Bee Patchwork in Stanthorpe on Friday so that I can get some fabric there that I was interested in. See what other little treasures they have because they're not open on the weekends so I've taken the Friday off so we can get down there on the Friday and I can go and see the shop. Um, so I'll hopefully I'll see it's a very small shop so I don't know if I can get some footage without being awkward <laughs> but if not I'll share with you if I buy anything there so till next fortnight I hope you have a great week uh, well a great fortnight and lots of crafting whatever you're doing and get on to my Facebook page and I'd love to see what you're all working on, so don't be shy about posting on there, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!